Hi, people. What was your favorite show of 2021? Ours was Yellowstone. The series has managed to become the best show of the year, since it came out back in 2018, and it deserves the hype. Following the Duttons, the show offers its audience the unique premise of having a country-based Western story with a modern narrative. Let's be honest, the Western genre isn't what it used to be. After names like John Wayne and Clint Eastwood perfected the genre, very limited improvement took place which caused the genre to be overlooked for the most part. However, Yellowstone has provided a leaf of hope that might reverse the fate of the Westerns altogether. It not only modernized the genre, but also updated it to the TV screen successfully, which is a very rare occasion. Since TV has revolutionized itself over the past decade, and has become the main medium that managed to overshadow even Hollywood, the Westerns would have been doomed to die unless they somehow reflected their premise on the TV screen. Now, thanks to Yellowstone, this is achieved and we feel like witnessing this transformation. Even though Yellowstone is a show that is filled with action and a dynamic scenario, we feel like the main element that makes the show so successful is its unique characters. The series isn't afraid of exploring the dark side of the people, and constantly shows us what we're capable of doing when the right circumstances are provided. Naturally, it's not an easy task to watch Yellowstone, since it forces us to face our true nature. Nevertheless, it does this most elegantly and artistically, to the point that we cannot take our eyes off of the screen. The series' tone gets darker with every season, which we like to see, and thus, we feel like Season 5 will be the darkest season of Yellowstone so far, witnessing some violent actions and heartless decisions that we will have a hard time sinking in. In Season 4, we watched the Duttons in the aftermath of the brutal attacks of the Season 3 final. It was both physically and mentally damaging for the family as they had trouble understanding why all these things happened. Throughout the season, they tried to figure out the name behind the attacks, but for the most part, their attention was on the black sheep of the family, Jamie, as they have little to no trust toward him. We cannot blame the Duttons for thinking so lowly of Jamie, as he often betrayed them, and even in the times where his intentions were good, he had trouble in explaining himself, which ended up in him being an outcast. Apart from solving the mysteries surrounding the attacks, this season was highly emotional which is unlike the other Yellowstone seasons. We watched John struggling to cope with his aging, as well as loneliness as all of his children were leaving him one by one. He even started to date again as he was willing to solve this issue. Dating again and meeting Summer impacted John in a way we didn't see before. Not that he fell in love with Summer, but he realized that not everyone but Duttons are enemies. Unfortunately, he realized this too late. Since he raised his children by teaching them the family is the only thing that matters and the rest is garbage, we soon witnessed Beth using Summer as if she is a toy. This incident showed John that compassion for others matters, and it's crucial to make a distinction between the enemies and the people who are just neutral. He also betrayed Jamie by rivaling him in the governorship race, which was a major power move on John's part. However, soon after, he realized despite his anger and disappointment toward Jamie, he was still afraid of losing him as he still loves him. We feel like John's emotional transformation and reconnection with his humanity will continue in Season 5 as well. We also expect him to be replaced by Beth gradually when it comes to handling the business of defending the ranch. She is highly similar to John when it comes to her personality, and we feel like as John softens, Beth will be the one that toughens up. In Season 4, we watched Casey prioritizing his relationship with Monica and his nuclear family more than anything. While focusing on his family, he also went into a spiritual journey that transformed his perspective over his life and destiny. Unfortunately, we couldn't learn what exactly Casey discovered about himself. However, we feel like in Season 5, he will have more on-screen time and be one of the big players in Montana. So far, he was always content with taking things slow and being the man behind the scenes rather than being bold and front like his sister Beth. However, we feel like this is about to change and we will watch Casey going into a transformation, leaving his good guy image behind by taking some difficult but necessary decisions. As far as Jamie is concerned, we will probably see a man who is on the edge of a mental breakdown as he had to go through one of the most traumatizing things that a person can endure in their lifetime. We're crossing our fingers with the hope that Jamie would survive this process. We feel like he will dedicate his life to his son and this will be the one that saves him from being completely doomed. We're expecting Season 5 of Yellowstone to be released around November 2022. We know that we had to wait for almost two years between Season 3 and Season 4. 
but we have to remember the difficult circumstances of that specific period during which the global pandemic was at its peak. Now, if we manage to have a healthy year, there is no obstacle before Yellowstone to release a new season within this year. Are you excited for Yellowstone Season 5? What are your anticipations for the new season? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.